What's up, people? Arsene Cars here, coming at you with another Rogue Company video. Today, I want to talk about the new map, Vice. I finally got a little bit of time on the map, so I kind of want to go over if the map is good, bad, or somewhere in the middle, right? So before I even get into it, make sure to put your thoughts down in the comment section. Do you think that this is a good map? Do you think it needs some work? I like to know so we can have that conversation. I'm going to give my thoughts and I'm going to start off with some of the cons that I found while playing on this map. I wish I had gameplay for it. And it's actually one of my cons here is that I haven't gotten to play the map much. As y'all know, my channel is pretty much exclusively Rogue Company, and I feel like I haven't gotten this new game mode except for, for one time, honestly. I even played in like the um, the practice demolition to see if the, you know, the games go faster, obviously. I was gonna see if I can get it that way, and I still couldn't get into any de um, Vice games. So it's uh, it, that's been a little bit frustrating, and that's one of the things that I just put on here. Because, you know, you want to learn a new map, you want to get onto it. So I would like to see them do like a voting system or something like these doing old Call of Duty, you know, where you can actually vote for the map that you will want to play. That way people can get on the new map and actually, you know, start getting some time on it. And it's not just the, the people who have, I don't know, hours and hours or maybe they just get lucky. But, you know, people who have more time, so they're probably going to get the map more often. You know, so that, that that's a little more complainy. I understand that. But I really wish we could, you know, get the map that we wanted, you know, so we could all experience it, and, you know, get to enjoy it. Um, so that's that's one con that I have for the map right now. Now, getting to some more of the nitty gritty of the actual map. Um, when playing it, it seemed to encourage a lot more reckless type of gameplay. Even and I was playing demolition, so I thought that was kind of weird because you know a lot of times in demolition people are playing very methodically, very very slow sometimes even. But this map seemed to encourage a lot of rushing, and I'm not sure if that's because the map is geared towards that, or if you know it's just that the map is new, so people are throwing caution to the wind a little bit and just excited to be on the map. So I noticed that a lot, and I'm curious if anybody else who's gotten on the map a little bit more has noticed that. You know, people being like super aggro. Um, and this leads into my last point for the cons. Maybe that's because like rotations are faster on this map. I feel like all the, um, you know, been able to like to jump over these um, little porta potties and whatnot. Uh, it feels like some pretty quick rotations, like getting from one side of the map to the other. Um, and maybe, maybe that's just me, but I, I would be curious to know what people think. It feels really quick. Uh, especially when you're attacking. I felt like when I was attacking, I was able to get up on people pretty quickly for the most part. And defenders weren't really able to to like set up any type of barrier to keep us out. You know, I feel like some maps have like choke points. They have areas in which you can, uh, you know, start to block off and, you know, even tunnel people through. But this map, I felt like there was none of that when I was attacking or defending. It was much more scattered, more much more free for all kind of. Um, so those are my thoughts right there for the cons and uh, yeah let me know what you think about that now this video is not going to be all negative because there are some positive things about vice uh, one of which being the fact that it is a map that is totally geared for long and like mid-range engagements so i'm talking you know the the sniper e even phantom's other gun the Aaron, which nobody really <laughs> nobody really uses but you know i feel like i would actually use that gun on on this map on vice because it feels good on vice you know it's one of those guns that that will probably excel on vice whereas a lot of maps it just feels very clunky with the scope um i also feel like vice is doing this thing where it kind of gets people out of that smg meta i don't think it's any secret that some of the better guns in the game are smgs right these fast firing guns uh, obviously you know if you're good with any gun it'll be good but the smgs i feel like are reigning supreme right now then the ars are right behind it and then whatever else you know um, but i like this map because it kind of changes up that meta a little bit and smgs don't fare as well on this map you know because people aren't able to get right up on top of you as easily especially when attacking when defending you know you can still you can still work the smg and do pretty good because you know they're they're going to be trying to get through your defenses they're trying to get to your uh your objective so you can still make it work obviously but it's nice to see a map that doesn't uh, cater to smgs or close quarter combat easily it definitely is geared more towards the the ar the the long range engagements and being a little more strategic in that sense so i really enjoyed that uh, another thing that i thought was really cool about this map is that there's a lot of cover 
and it, it goes back to that whole thing about the you know making people really think about their movement right uh you're not going to be able to get up and spray people down in this one this is one where you got to catch people at those long um those long sight lines you got to catch people with those long flanks and um you know it, it makes for a little bit more uh, thinking because you so much cover so many buildings to run into and it, it definitely makes it a little more difficult to get to get an easy kill for sure um so i liked all that about this map so far um like i say i wish i could play it a little bit more but it's been two days now and i've only gotten the map uh once i i want to say so and i think the other time i got it was a bot match so i didn't want to put up you know a bot match so i'm hoping that at some point this map is going to be popping up a little bit more maybe maybe my suggestion to make it out there maybe other people will be you know wanting to have a, a a way to actually vote for a map or something um but people that, those are my thoughts about vice i want to know what you think about it because uh, i know some people may have been able to play this map uh, more than I've been able to so far so please put down your thoughts in the comment section so that I will know and also off topic now has anybody been able or did anybody get to play on the actual um, shooting range because that was one of the things that I was really excited for when um, when this update was coming out and I'm disappointed to see that the, the shooting range didn't make it into it and I guess because it was bugging or, or something like that which is fine I get it you know fix the game make sure everything is running smoothly but I was super excited for that um, you know simply because being able to get into the shooting range fire you know off some shots get your snipes warmed up because I don't know about anybody else but going into a game cold as phantom like you know you're gonna I, I miss all my shots like that first round so I, I was really excited about that but it seems like all the other updates pretty much got put into the game um, so you know I'm happy that they're that they're following through with that that they're making these uh, changes and these adjustments as they go um, one of the things that I really want to see I want to see some type of skins or variations in the shop. I know it's still uh, early, it's still beta, and you know, most games I'd be like, oh yeah, just wait, just wait. But since I'm invested in this game, I guess, I wanna actually throw a little money at it to see, you know, to see, um, to see it grow, to see it uh, turn into something good. Because I have been enjoying it, and I hope they come out with some, with some more content here coming up. Uh, people, I guess my question for you today is what type of limited uh, time modes would you like to see? I know for a little bit we had extraction and they took it out, which I hate. They should have kept that in because I was really enjoying it. And as a content creator, it gives you more stuff to make content on too. You know, you want to keep that stuff flowing. You know, I know people hate when I bring up Fortnite, but the one thing that they did right was that they kept content in their game for content creators to keep making videos every day, you know, or every week there's going to be something new. So, you know, every week, you know, you had like your, your little strategy of the videos you were going to make and what you were going to put out. And the audience was coming back to the game too because they wanted to play whatever the new update was you know so it was good for creators and players and i hope rogue company kind of does something like that just because i want the game to have a longevity and i want people to be excited about it but yeah let me know what you would like to see as far as limited time modes i would love to see something come back like another capture the flag type thing or even like a little mini battle royale type thing maybe not 100 players or 60 players but maybe you put you know like 30 players on a slightly bigger map than this and have them go at it or something or you know like a melee only mode something i just like having things to do in the game that uh bring excitement to it but people those are my thoughts let me know what you think down in the comment section uh, I'm probably going to start streaming here again soon. I was streaming yesterday, so if anybody saw that video uh, and you hopped into the stream, I appreciate you. I'm going to try to do that more like once or twice a week or so, get people in there, run games. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, send me a friend re uh, request at Orsa Course 1, and uh, I'll invite you to some games. Um, and if you're not like raging and screaming and got music on, I'll turn on my mic so we can calm and uh, we'll get some dubs. Um, people, I'm going to end the video here because I feel like I'm ranting now. Thank you for listening as always. We'll see you tomorrow. Source of course. Peace, 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 peace.